McAfee show yesterday and had this to say. The few text messages that I did get went something like this. Hey, there was a team that lost 38-3 to last year to the Saints that won the Super Bowl. It's like, oh, okay, thanks for that. Well, I don't know what kind of lining that is. You're just like, you know, trying to make chicken salad out of chicken <laughs> there. But, uh, <laughs> might be a freak out outside of the facility. Uh, I think it's just to... You know, it's a good learning lesson for us. You know, we can't we can't play like that. We can't start a game like that. Look, there's not much to say. We got our asses beat. We're all frustrated about it, but we just move on. We got 16 more to go. All right, so that is the usual R-E-L-A-X Aaron <laughs> Rodgers. Meanwhile, as I promised, your Michael Finley, who was Rodgers' teammate, former tight end for the Packers, was on ESPN Radio this morning with KJM, and he had some fascinating comments about his former quarterback. Listen to this. I just don't see a work ethic in Aaron Rodgers that I have in previous years. He's a quarterback that doesn't never take blame for himself. He's that guy, if I throw the ball to the receiver, he's got to catch it wherever it's at. Uh, he's not a guy, if you go into the uh, into the film room and he, he made a bad pass, he's not that guy that's going to raise his hand and say, oh, that's my bad. He's going to make sure, make sure that the coaches know that uh, it, that's all on you. Hmm. So, okay. there's a few things to unpack there. And again, I don't know if there is a, a history of some sort of beef there or an axe to grind, but whatever it is, Jermichael Finley played with him, and this is his there's perspective. There. So, what did what, you say, David? I said, there's something there. Good <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Aaron, Rodgers, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers made his career. I mean, threw him yeah. touchdowns, gave him a career, and that dude just said, man, I'm going to go snatch your soul and let people know you ain't that guy. You, you, you don't take blame. I mean, I know, listen, this is an off-season where people I, – I, I'm not going to lie, guys. I watch Get Up almost every morning. I was exhausted hearing about Aaron Rodgers. So I'm sure everybody else in the world is. Just, it's been beat upside your head so long, and now the story is a little bit different. He struggled, um, and, and we're not used to seeing that. So now the reaction is going to be, you know, is it because of the off-season and the selfishness and all this stuff? So interesting, uh, Jermichael Finley definitely not holding back. Yeah, so, so okay, so let, let's analyze the two specific things he said. First of all, the idea about not having the same work ethic that he used to. Aaron acknowledged he contemplated retiring right. during this offseason. He acknowledged that he has found pleasure in all sorts of other things, found joy in his life he didn't see before. He's in a relationship yeah. now. He hosted Jeopardy. Jeopardy, as you pointed out. Like, does that, when a player sort of glimpses his own professional mortality like that, is it easy to turn the page back? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I can't <laughs> climb into Aaron Rodgers' head, but I feel like it's all going to be kind of results dependent for us because if he came out and thrown six touchdowns, we would have said that his glimpse at mortality has recharged him. And this offseason, right. is he's on a, but he did. a rinse. Mm -hmm. No, so I'm just saying, this was one game. If he'd have had this game this week and had uh, four touchdowns on week one, we wouldn't be saying these things. So I think this is part of the overreaction. But the Jermichael Finley stuff, like that speaks to me more than anything else because that scares me for this team because when you have relationships interpersonal relationships with people you build up some type of goodwill when it's a positive relationship and that can carry you through some bad times what it sounds like to me and Jermichael Finley is not the first one of Aaron Rodgers former teammates to come out and say negative things no, about, him, about him so what that makes me fear that if this season goes bad they go 0 and 2 they go 0 and 3 mm -hmm. He doesn't have the goodwill uh, amongst his teammates. It suggests to me that things can go bad quickly with it, with the way that this team interacts with each other. What do you think, came on? Well, it, uh, Jermichael Finley mentioned, you know, the work ethic over the last few years. The guy's the reigning MVP. Like, what? what's the issue with the work ethic? It, I understand this particular offseason, but what about last year? He looked just fine to us, right? Um, I, I, it, when we were talking about all these, the whole offseason drama, it was mentioned Teammates, the longer this saga drags on and if, if Rodgers is going to come back, teammates, could they potentially get frustrated with having to answer these questions? Well, he did show up. But Aaron spent all offseason away from this team, and when he did come back, he had a whole list, as, as long as this rundown of, and I have beef with you, and this is why I don't like you. So he did all of that. To do that... We, we all accept it and we're fine right. with it, except now you need to show up. But you need to play like Aaron Rodgers. That list of grievances, it was so pro-player. 
Like, I, that had to go over well in the locker room. Yes. Because what he was doing is yeah. calling out yeah. the organization and standing up for guys who were there and guys who weren't there in the past. So, like, that to me speaks to Aaron Rodgers having a good relationship right. with his guys. But then the Jermichael Finley stuff, like, that is more concerning than anything else. Look, there is nothing more tested and tried and true than, than all of the labor getting together and, and, and you know, being upset <laughs> with the management. I mean, it works that it way. It works. Practically everything. And, it, yeah. David, I'll give you the final word. What, what is your expectation? They played Detroit. On Monday night, the Lions, terrible first half, much better second half last week. What is your expectation for where this thing goes from here? I think it'll turn around quickly. Um, but, you know, one thing about Aaron's personality, like when you're, when you're that guy and you're confident and you're not really worried about other people and you're doing your thing, everybody, Dominic can tell you this, everybody in the locker room will absolutely 100% put it up with it when you're balling. Yeah. When you're not balling <laughs> and when you have some issue – Now we're going to have to have some conversations Uh. because, you know, Coach Saban (laughs) says it all the time. I've always heard people talk about it. When you're you're not committed or when you're not all in and you're not doing – and you're making plays, you can stick around probably for a little while. But when you ain't (laughs) making plays and you're not that guy, it Mm -hmm. becomes more of a deal in the locker room. Mm -hmm. David, remind us, were you drafted the same way as Aaron Rodgers? (laughs) He was drafted ahead of Aaron Rodgers. Who was drafted first, Four or five picks ahead of him maybe? 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 You know, he just he just managed to accidentally throw that in earlier in the program today, and we all enjoyed the way he slid that in. All right, next stop.